Words. Words unsupported by action, by acts, has just as much value as paper or a dollar bill unsupported by gold. Unsupported by something that is valuable enough to give that dollar bill its equivalency. I say this, trust your intuition, but don't think like your intuition is just something like uh, a feeling or energy. Your intuition is actually your subconscious mind seeing something that you didn't see. Seeing something that your conscious mind didn't see. This energy thing, like sometimes we like to associate to things, this gut feeling you're talking about, this actually has more logic than we like to give it. And what I'm saying is that trust your gut. Trust your subconscious mind. Trust what you see. A person's word that goes unsupported by action has no value. It only has the value of that which you can use that person's words for. Meaning that if you can't produce value out of that person's word for yourself, then that person's word alone has no value whatsoever. The scripture says that you can tell a tree by the fruit that it bears, and that you can tell a man by its works, meaning that you can tell a man by that which he produces. If he produces nothing, then that says a lot about that man. If he produces minimum or if he produces a lot, it says a lot about that man, right? But if a tree bears oranges, then it says that's an orange tree. If a tree bears lemon, then that's, the, that's a lemon tree. When a person says something, if their words isn't supported by an action, their words have no value, but leave what their acts show you. Believe what an individual refuses to do and what an individual does because their actions will always speak louder than anything that comes out of their mouth. Don't trust what you hear. Train your mind to pay attention to what a person does. Train your mind to pay attention to what a person don't do.